Next step, vertex group. Let's do this. Remember, you are still in edit mode. Come back to object mode. Select your model. Select your model. And yeah. The vertex group is going to let you select the part of your model that you want the jiggle to work. And now our focus is on the character's bone. You can isolate your character with the slash key. So here's the character here. And actually, this character is actually a character I made. is um, an I Spice character that I made for one of my videos, which you saw in the intro. Yeah, obviously, you saw it in the intro. So, yes. So let's get back to work. <laughs> so, um, sorry, we need to select the character. I mean the mesh itself, not the rig now. Make sure in edit mode. Just make sure you're in edit mode. For <laughs> because the bone, you're in edit mode. Also on the model, you need to be in edit mode to do this. Okay, good. So we, you are going to come to vertex group. And um, here's a vertex group here. You can find it under data. So we are going to choose a part of our model, which obviously is the bomb that we want the jiggle to work on. We already created the bone. We need to, the bone is, the, the bone are going to work. Okay, let me show you something. Um, let me bring it back here. If I come here and come under the spring bone, the spring, spring and let me see animation you can see they are working do you see them moving there's a jiggle physics here already but it's not working with the bomb because we've not made a better group that's why we need to create a better group so let's go back let's select our model again the mesh let us isolate that okay so um we select our model back we are back to the mesh and um, we are going to start creating the vertex group first of i'm going to make sure the back view so it will help us with the best view of what we want to do so we are going to use Control plus on your on your keyboard and i think that's fair another thing you can do you you can press c and select more parts of where you want the jiggle to work. And uh, more C, I think we should add this part to the jiggle physics. Okay. And I think, uh, should we omit this side or ball? Don't worry. I think we should leave that. Let's get back to. Okay, now after selecting that part, this should be the right part, right? This is the right part. We are going to come here and say we add another vectors group. Let's we are so one thing. Don't make the the mistake you are going to do is re renaming this part of the mesh with another name instead of the name we give the bone. Make sure the name of the bone and the name of this part of the mesh you want the jiggle to work on as same name. So now remember this part of the mesh. The bone on this side we said is bone underscore r. That is what is there. Then we are going to select this side of the bone and create the vertex loop for the left side of the bone. Bone. It's funny, but <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, so. Let me see. Okay, yeah, okay, selected that. Then we create, make sure uh, uh, this is very important. I mean, bomb underscore L. And make sure to assign. Now, I think I realized that I didn't assign this one. You see, I'm selecting it now, and nothing happened. Is because I did not assign what I selected earlier, but because I assigned bomb L, 
If I press select, you can see it selected that part. So these are the mistakes. You know, I told you I will leave in the mistakes in this tutorial, so you'll be on the lookout for them. So let me go back to the right side of the bomb and select again and let us assign so we can nail our jiggle. Sorry. Remember, Control Plus can help you to make this faster. And let me select more parts. This is an actually interesting thing. If you get it the first time, it's very, it's very easy to come back to it. Even months later, you still get it right. That's why you just practice and here and there. Okay, so let me assign now. Good, perfect. So if I'm, I click out now, so let me let us go back to the back view. If I select, you can see it's working now. Boom, select, select. You can you select, 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 you understand? Nice. So now, the next step, we are done with our vertex group now. Then the next step is to do the weight painting. Because now we need to do some cleanups. I'm going to show you what we've done so far, the success of what we've done so far. Let me hide this bone. So, um, sorry. Let me, let me go back clicking the bone. Because you need to click on your rig for it to work with the spring bone. So we come here, we, we are going to click animation. Now let us hide so we can see our results. I'm coming, this, uh, let me hide, let me hide these leggings. You can see it moving, it's working. It's working already. But you can see it's working. This is it without the spring bone. This is it with the spring bone. Let me fast forward it to the part you see it well. You can see. You can see it moving. Okay, let me increase the parameters here. Let me let us make it more bouncy. But be careful with this parameter, it might break your model. You always make sure to go back to the beginning to start all over. Let's give this speed 0 0.9. Always, like I said, always make sure to select the bones separately and give them the parameter. Now let's try, let's check it out again and see. You can see it's moving perfectly now. I think this is descent is not too much. Good, that's a good result. Now, you can see this side, this side, this part of the model that it looks like it's breaking off. That is the reason we need to do some clean up with the weight paint. Now, let's do some weight, weight paint cleaning. Let's go back and do some, let's go back to object mode. Any question you have regarding this, you can put it in the comment section. You understand? So, okay. So let's let's do our weight paint cleanup. Now, come back to your vertex group. You see, when you select the bomb, you can see them changing the right, the left, the right, the left. Just like when you all these vectors will be when you click any part of them, you can, you can see them, you can see it will show on your model in case of people who don't know this already. So let's do the quick cleanup here. Now, for the bomb to be smooth without those cracks you were seeing, you will come down to wait here. Under this, these options there are your best friend. Usually I use clean, I use smooth. These are the most stuff I do use here. So let's let's do some little cleanup. One is too much, and sometimes you know all this is this is just an experiment. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now let's use smooth. Okay, I think smooth is going to give us what we want. So let me go in, in, increase the factor, increase the iteration but always make sure that but if you know more about weight paint 
the part that has most thread is going to be where the effect of what you're trying to do is going to be more on. So let us dial it back a bit and have a decent amount of red here. So let's do the same thing with the left bone. Weight, smooth. Perfect. So if, if you notice, they have almost the same, they have same amount of smoothness. Now let's let's try it out and see the results after this cleanup. Let's go back. Remember to come under bone properties, find your spring bone animation. Now let's see the difference. Do you notice any crack? No, you can't. You can't find any crack anymore. You see? This was the part we are seeing the cracks earlier, but you can't find the cracks anymore. You can see them working perfectly. You understand? Okay, let me even let me make it more obvious so we can see. Let us increase the let's give the speed one. Let's give the speed one. Hopefully, we won't break the model. Or let's go back to the beginning. Let us see. You see, that's a good job. So that's basically it. That's basically it. So, but don't over, <laughs> be careful with the parameters there, you know. I feel the one is even too much in this, in this, in this case, but that's that. And um, one thing, another tip I want to give you is this, this model, let us go to object mode. This model has the legging on. And one thing I found out with Springborn is that when you have when you have a sorry I'm calling it, when you have like a model like this with this kind of stuff on it the the bomb or whatsoever you are using the you have to come here let us isolate the leggings you have to come here and do the same weight painting and renaming to this legging but even with that sometimes you don't get the perfect result you don't get the perfect result so what i do is that I'm going to, since this part is just a normal trick in 3D or in, yeah, in 3D, let me just say a normal trick in 3D as a whole. Since majority of our body, my character, since majority of our body is being covered by these leggings, I can come here now, let me, I can come here now and cut out most part of our body that's intersecting with the leggings. Do you understand? So I'm going to come here. I'm going to remove this part of our body. Since that's the part the leggings is covering, then I'm going to create, I'm going to transfer the, I'm going to make the vectors group on this leggings instead. That is what I did in the intro video. I cut out that part of the body and trans and made and create the vectors group on the leg is instead of the body of the character, instead of the main body, to give me the perfect, so I won't be seeing any intersection with the body of the character. That's a trick, that is like a known trick in the 3D space. So, since no one knows what is under here, you can cut out the body and transfer. The, I this is already how many minutes? Uh, this is already over 20 minutes of, um, of the tutorial, or close to 20 minutes. I wouldn't want it to be more than this. So that's basically it. That's basically it. And I want to show you the same thing with another. I want to do a quick one and show you. There's another model here. There's, sorry, there's another model here from Sketchfab. Let me, I'm coming. Let me hide. Um, let me hide this. This is another model from Sketchfab. This model already has the, the, the breast bone and the bone bone. So, 
if you just come down here i'm just saying that this works with any rig any kind of you know you might want to use this for a character with a big stomach you understand so you can do same technique you understand just create a new bone rename the bone create a vectors group clean up create a, a weight um, a weight paint clean up the weight paints you know that's it that's all you had just five steps and you've gotten your path you've gotten everything working so we come down here to the bone properties again click on animation because i already activated this bone so when i when i play you can see you can see our best bone working let me you can see the best bone working and our bone boot is working but one thing that let me show you something here just a quick one let me isolate the character well when we go into okay look at look at the, the naming of this one the naming here is different from the one we used you see <laughs> so just name it with underscore l and r so it will be easier for you to locate so if i say select if i say select you can see so let us check out the weight paint here you can see that the weight paint here is very very the red part of the weight paint is very little that's why we couldn't see the effect of the spring bone add-on there so let us increase it so we can see the effect of the spring bone on this bone um let me let me let us use um levels let us see if the levels Oh, and coming. I think that is. Uh, I just wanted to increase it a, a little bit, but that is kind of too much. Let us just let us just with paint it straight up. Let us do it straight up. Let us do it straight up. Coming. Let me. Let us add dust need to red. Let us add it to red here. Let us um, let us blow it. Just to smoothen the edge. So it won't be the sharper your the trick is the sharper your weight paint, the sharper is going to be for the for the effect. So but you know, we only want something. Oh wait, let us add more stuff. Okay, let us add more stuff to this part of R. Then let us like okay let's do same thing to the left part let us add more with paints this part this part okay let us draw the edges oh sorry blow the edges um that's a quick one. Okay. Okay, I think that's cool. Now let's go back out. And we are going to see the, the difference. I'm coming. Let us let me increase the parameters. I think the parameters are not. Let us use the same parameters like the one we used on the first model. Um Commodal properties. Okay, let's let's use one for the speed also. Click here, let's use one for the speed also. So let's start animation. This is the difference now. Even if the speed is too much, that's why I can see it moving that way. This is the end of the tutorial, and I'm sure. I'm sure you've subscribed by now. Please subscribe. This is still a very small channel. I really, my goal for this year is to eat 1K subscribers. And remember, you can grab this file on my Gumroad. And because my Gumroad is also a new one. And um, while we do this tutorial, more of my scenes and files are going to be available on my Gumroad. And see you on the next video. Please comment, like, subscribe, share, and... Boom, catch it on the next video. Much love.